Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today we'll be going over what's the best settings for your Streamlabs OBS by using the Mac OS as a streaming PC. So I'll be showing you guys the best settings that I recommend and best settings for recording if you want to record gameplay. But otherwise, let me show you guys what's the best settings and yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so we are now in the Streamlabs OBS and I'll be showing you guys what's the best setup for your streaming experience slash recording gameplay experience with Mac OS. So also go to your settings and when you go to stream, obviously just put in the platform you'll be streaming on. So if you're gonna be streaming on Twitch, then put that in or YouTube or any other platform. Now where the most of the things are gonna be happening is in output. So with the streaming output, first of all, keep audio track on one, just to make it a lot simpler for yourself to do your audio side of the stream. Now, you can do the Twitch if you want to. For me, I don't do that really at all. Now, with the encoder, there are gonna be two options of Mac OS. You have software and you have Apple VT. Software is mostly drawn by the CPU side, whereas Apple VT, I'm pretty sure it's like a mix of everything really. So I do recommend Apple VT because then it doesn't use a lot of your CPU and of course, if you're going to be using a Mac Mini or anything like that just for streaming purposes, then you can just use Apple VT. So that's what I use. And of course, if you want to, you can enforce streaming service encoder settings. It just makes it a lot more easier and makes it look a lot more better. Now going to the bit rate, I'm going to also show two screenshots of what's the recommended bit rate for both Twitch and YouTube. Because obviously, depending on res the resolution you'll be streaming at, depends on the bitrate. So, and also, I don't want to include that depending on your internet speed or the upper speed, depends on what your bitrate will be. So, since I do have 100 megabytes per second of my upper speed, I have it at 6 megabytes because that is what's recommended with Twitch. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's a bit higher than what Twitch recommends for 1080p streaming but I just want to be on the safe side. Now, keyframe interval, you can do at two, which is what a lot of streamers do, but I just keep on auto because it makes it simpler. And with profile, to put on high because it's just a lot more better. Now going to the recording side of it, keep type on standard. Uh, recording path is also depending on where you want your recordings to go to, so if you want it to go to a certain file, you can do that in an easy fashion. So I can actually just show you. I just have it for downloads because that's why I mostly have my stuff. But going to audio track, just keep it on one. Recording uh, with the encoder, just keep on Apple VT because like I said, it's a lot more simpler and easier. Now going to the bit rate, you can do as much as you want because of course, this does not use your internet at all. So you can do it at 20,000 kilobits per second for your bit rate. It does not matter at all, just makes it a lot more look or better quality with your recordings. Now, same with me, like I said, I just keep it on auto with the keyframe interval and I keep profile on high. Now, going to video, this is where you'll have to decide if you're going to be streaming at 720p, 1080p, or anything like that. So, base canvas resolution is what you'll be capturing. So, if you are capturing something, that is on a 1080p device or display, then keep it on that. Otherwise, if it's 720p, you do that as well. Now going to your output is obviously where you'll be deciding if you are going to be streaming at a higher resolution. So for me, I stream at 1080p, which just looks really nice and it looks a lot better from my side. So I keep on 1080p. Now I'm pretty sure you can obviously do custom, where you can do like 4K if you want to, that's mostly on YouTube. Now, uh, downscale filter, keep on, or we'll put it on Lancosos. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. It's a lot of YouTubers get this wrong to pronounce it, and I always get it wrong. But it's just a lot better to have, because if you have it on this one, it is going to be a lot better, like it shows. So it's either you do this one or this one. So keep on that. Now, obviously, depending on what type of games you'll be streaming, or depending on what you're going to be on doing on stream, depends on the frames you're going to need. So for me, I mostly play FPS games and tracing games, and I just want to make the stream look a lot better, so I keep on 60 frames per second, but you can change it to 30 frames per second. But honestly, that's all I can really show for you guys. You can obviously do more things with like your stream overlays and audio overlays and all that. 
So you can always can do that. But otherwise, that's all I can really show. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do more videos like this. And just let me know if you want me to do a video on OBS itself, because it is a bit different compared to Streamlabs OBS. But otherwise, I do hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Be safe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.